My name is Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and pretty much I go sourcing at garage sales, uh, thrift stores, bin stores, storage units, online liquidation, like you guys name it, I'm trying to do it. All right, you guys, before this video actually starts, this is incredible, an incredible estate sale. This house was over 7,000 square feet of real estate. When I say there was so much to look at, there was so much to look at. And I will say that there was very, very, very high-end items in this estate sale. A lot of stuff I didn't know what I was doing, but some of the stuff I did, but sure enough, we made out like a bandit. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. She said to right. Oh, yes, this is Yeah. Right here. Yeah. The stand and the ball are together. I'll give you that back. And that was something else. Oh, yeah. 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 Can I help y'all in any way? You need tickets to our oh, room? No, I think I'm good right now. <laughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me, you're good. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. So this is a garage. So it says, do not exit. Gosh, I'm watching your stuff. Oh, no, you can't go that way. It's a lot of... Excuse me. Oh, wow. Can I slide right here real quick? Sorry. Size of these. <laughs> mm -hmm. How are you? I'm doing good. Remember you guys? How are you doing? Oh yeah, we're doing good. Oh yeah. That's a little tight squeeze in here, huh? How much do you have? 56 a piece. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, 56 ain't ain't terrible. Yeah, their prices are definitely Definitely high. Right, no. Yeah, a little bit. Do what? I think that's headphones. Headphones? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I got it. It was just underneath that box. Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, my wife. So you basically on uh, electronics? I, well, I buy and resell a little bit of everything. everything? Um, yeah. Cause I know the the bow sandwich. I know that's a little bit of an older model. I'm not sure what those go for. This one's brand new. And they're only asking fifty. Not sure what it's worth, but yeah. but some stuff. Yeah, they good stuff. It, it, it's good stuff. It's priced a little high, but I don't know. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a gamble on a few things. So how do you find the prices on these when it's got E something? Um, E is just their inventory. It's the whatever okay. numbers. Yeah, it's whatever numbers next to it. Oh, I got you. Yeah. It's a little priced a little, high. A little, a little high. Yeah. yeah, but there's some good things yeah. though. Oh, yeah. Still some find some deals.
Alright guys, so right here I just want to come into with some commentary real quick. Uh, if you guys notice this box, it says Oppo. Now I did not know anything about this brand. It just caught me off guard. It says Oppo Blu-ray 3D player. And I'm just like, um, I'm not sure there's any money in it. And I am so glad to go with my gut instincts, you guys. I'm telling you guys right now, 9 times out of 10, if your gut instinct is telling you to pick something up, it usually means to pick it up. So I was like, you know what? I don't see a price. That's why I keep moving the box. Uh, so I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'll take it out of this room and figure out the price. Long story short about it, they didn't have a price, so they had to take it outside. And right here, I'm trying to actually look it up, but there's an absolutely no service in this house, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, however, long story short, they pretty much told me to go outside to the dude who's actually running it, and he gave me the price of $90 on this unit. And uh, sure enough, we, we paid that, but you guys, the best, it, it hadn't even came yet. You guys will see it here in just a few, but let's go ahead and get back into the video before I spoil it. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Um, they said that you were going to price me out. Cause I am? Am I, I'm going to do what? Uh, they said that you were going to price me on this, because um, there's no, okay. there's no okay. price on it. That is his new inbox blue ray. There was no price? Okay, let me call. No price. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so right here the music is playing really loud and obviously obviously we do not want to get copyrighted, but my wife found these Columbia gloves for ten dollars a piece, thought that was a great deal. So all we're doing right now, we're just waiting on the price back for that Blu-ray player. And the lady right here at the desk, she's actually pricing me out as I'm pulling stuff out. That way I'm you know, she's basically writing me a ticket up until I get that Oppo Blu-ray player. So uh, just kind of buying time at this point in time. But uh, but yeah, I just wanted to throw this in there just to show you guys that she is marking down all the correct prices. And we did spend quite a bit of money at this estate sale. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. She's just pricing me out. And me and the wife definitely do a whole nother uh, lap around. So definitely a great, great estate sale. Don't get me wrong. Prices were extremely high. <laughs> like these Bose Wave radios are $56 a piece. Definitely a little bit of uh, meat left on the bone for me some people might just pass for $56 but I thought it was worth it the Bose speakers only $50 and they were brand new absolutely insane and then the Walkman CD players was a steal in my opinion so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get back into the video but that's everything that I picked up so far I do it's called the Georgia picker if you ever get a chance to check it out <laughs> I appreciate it I had this priced out. I'm going to take it back and size it, okay? Alright. Thank you. You got it squared away. <laughs> Appreciate it. You find it? Yeah, I got it. No, it's fine. That is perfectly fine. Okay, again, this whole living room, you know, the music is loud, so I gotta hop in again. So right here, this gentleman in front of me actually has another Oppo Blu-ray player, but it's used, and we're just casually having a conversation, and uh, he asked me about the box one, and I was like, oh wow, you got one too, and he was like, dude, there's like four more back in that electronic room that you guys saw me find the Bose speakers and all that, and I was like, wait, there ain't no way. And uh, sure enough, there was an additional four of them in there, priced from $110 all the way to $90. So we picked up five units in total, I believe. Uh, so right here in a sec, I'm fixing to go back into that room and get every single one of them. My wife hates me, but you guys, the fines today at this estate sale, don't get me wrong, we definitely paid up for it, but in the end, the profit is insane. 7,000 square foot house, insane prices, but your boy knows how to pick with no service at all in this house. Uh, I can't take full credit because in order for me to look up that Oppo box, whenever I went outside to go get a price, that's actually whenever I looked that particular one up, over 100% sell through rate. So I was like, you know what? I'm full gambling on the rest of the models and gambling if they work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, wow, I think this is definitely gonna be worth uh, you know, the buy. So uh, I can't take full credit. I did look up that one item, but the rest of the stuff is just going in blindly. And that's what happens when you guys are an experienced reseller. It does go a very, very long way. Sorry, I'm, you're good, you're good. I'm probably gonna get those two things above y'all. I don't wanna hit y'all though. Oh, uh, the Blu-ray players? No, no, take your time, take your time. I don't, I don't, I don't oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I got you. <laughs>
Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Great. Uh, what is the price of this year? I got all of this, I gotta go that way. <laughs> Where's the ticket, sir? Um, okay. they, they, they have it up front. Okay. Yeah, they have it up front. Um, okay. I got two more things I gotta add plus this. So, okay. yeah, they're gonna take care of it for me. Yeah. Slide right by you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course you did. I'm gonna go put this down. Let's have it. Excuse me, sir. I don't let you know. If this is in your way, don't, don't trip over it. <laughs> yeah, no problem. The rest of them are like 110 a piece, but it's worth it. Yeah, that was heavy. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Okay. Oh, you I brought you my ticket. So okay. I got more stuff here. I got okay. the prices for you. I got okay. uh, the one for ninety. Okay. I got another one for ninety. Okay. I got three for one hundred and ten. So they. Uh, one hundred and ten each. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's three. Three thirty. Three thirty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's no, you're fine. And I got one more item for fifteen, and that's it. Okay. Perfect. Thanks for doing that. No, I'm glad you trust me. <laughs> well, <laughs> you look trustworthy. Oh, of course. I got it on camera too, so we're That's good. right. <laughs> I wouldn't lie. Okay, so seven seventy five was your total. Cool. There is a card fee. Yep, I saw that online too. Oh yeah. Thanks so much. Oh, I'm good. Okay, all right. Cool. Good. Thank you. you how, how much was it in total? Eight, four. Eight fifty four. Gotcha. <laughs> I got my ticket right there. I got my ticket right there. You got it. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, check it, check it out. <laughs> so we're actually back at the house. So long story short, we left our house at five o'clock this morning, a little bit before five o'clock this morning. Drove two and a half hours, a little bit more than two and a half hours to Lexington, South Carolina, uh, which is what everybody was telling me is Harry Tornado's uh, uh, territory, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> That's what a couple people said at the uh, stage. So that was pretty cool. A um, couple people asked me about uh, the YouTube channel, told them what, what it was. Um, so hopefully they come over and subscribe and all that good stuff. But I will say though, this estate sale was definitely priced up. But I will say this: so in inside the house there was no service, so I could not look up anything at all unless I went outside. And there were so many people there. At least 200 people came to that estate, so if not more. And it was it was pretty crazy. But what I will say, even though some of the stuff was priced up, it was still technically reasonable for resellers. Um, it just sucks that I couldn't look up anything because I probably would have got a lot more. So in total, I spent $854 inside and $8 out in the garage, that which I didn't record. Um, but we did pretty freaking good in my opinion, if everything works, which I'm pretty sure it will because this was a very nice house. Um, the owners used to be physicians or are physicians. I'm not too sure uh, exactly, but it is an estate sale. Uh, but they had some very, very good quality stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we got and roughly what we're gonna make. Some things I don't know on top of my head, um, but I did look up a handful of things as soon as I got home. Let's go and take a look. All right guys, so here's the haul. Don't worry about this printer. This printer is not here. I'm in the middle of uh, working on that even though it's been sitting here for about a month. But uh, we got like two uh, Bose Wave radios. I did um, essentially kind of overpay for those. I'm still gonna make money on them, but you guys will see. These are the four items right here that I found for $2 a piece at the uh, inside the garage. This, 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 and this. My wife found some Columbia gloves and the electronics, you guys. The electronics were priced extremely reasonable. Again, I paid up. Hopefully they work, et cetera, et cetera, but it's still pretty good solid stuff. Um, so yeah, this is everything that we got. Um, a couple things in here really surprised me, but this right here, you guys, this is where the money's at. You guys are gonna see that. I'm probably gonna save this for last because I wanna get every single model number for you guys, but this stuff right here is insane. Um, after we do the full recap, we're actually gonna go up into my spare bedroom and we are going to test each and every one of these. That way uh, we can see what they go for. Or I'm, I'm sorry, that way we can see if they work because if they work, you're talking about big, big money here, you guys. All right, guys, uh, so we got two Bose Wave radios. Um, they both do have the remotes, which is a plus, very, very huge plus there. Um, we paid 56 bucks a piece for each one of these. This one is the AWR1-1W. Um, this one, this model right here doesn't go for like crazy amount. We pay 56 and I mean, we probably are going to get maybe... Uh, 80 bucks plus shipping maybe on this one uh, might push it to 100 but it just really really depends um and this one even though they kind of look the same they're not uh this one also has the remote 
and we paid 56 bucks for this and this is the model awr 1g1 this one we should get anywhere to 100 to 120 dollars plus shipping um on that one so 56 bucks you know it's definitely not terrible um at the same time there's still a little bit of meat left on the bone plus it's bow stuff it should sell pretty quick um so there's those two items one thing i do want to mention it is very gloomy and rainy outside like it's bad um but we do got a beautiful view though out here in the garage beautiful beautiful weather <laughs> now it's just raining you guys but um it's been raining for the past like two weeks it's been crazy um let's go ahead and get to the uh the garage stuff again these are like two bucks a piece i don't remember on top of my head what these go for but we got this bodyguard paint protection film by trim bright uh, i believe this is like 20 bucks i don't remember to be honest um we got this little thing this is a marksman 3030 traditional slingshot goes for about like 15 or so then you got these uh duracell batteries i might keep these for myself to test stuff these are c10 batteries um you can never go wrong with having too many batteries on hand and i thought this was pretty cool um if you guys don't know what this is this is a uh a fish weight uh, or a fish scale sorry fish scale and it's by shimano and it's 100 pounds yep right there so for two bucks i figured it's shimano so it goes up to 100 pounds so it's gotta be worth something maybe 15 plus shipping i don't know but all those were two dollars a piece all right columbia gloves I, i'm not sure what this one goes for i'm not really sure what this one goes for i only i looked up for this one was out dry columbia gloves and i saw one pair sold for 30. so let's just say assume that one's 30 and then maybe this one's for 30. these are women's and this one had a price tag of 55. we got each pair for ten dollars a piece um so i don't know why well, i found those thought those were really cool that they were brand new this right here we're not making a whole lot of money this is a m325 logitech mouse some of this logitech stuff can go pretty good we're not losing money technically but we'll probably get about 10 to 12 dollars plus shipping on this and uh you know we pay six bucks on it trust me guys i know i'm saying there's you know a little bit of meat on the bone for some of this stuff but don't worry we're just we're getting to the good stuff i promise this right here is very surprising very very surprising i thought i know omron can do very well but this is an electrotherapy pain relief um, little device. And it is brand new. Yeah, brand new seal. That was very cool. This right here we got for 15 bucks. This thing is going all day long on eBay for uh, 50 bucks plus shipping. Definitely some meat on the bone on that one. This right here, I feel like they underpriced. Um, or maybe they just priced it accordingly. I don't know. Uh, we paid 30 bucks for this. This is a Netgear ProSafe JGS 524E switch, but this is the plus. Uh, this Bose Companion 2, we paid 50 bucks for it, and it is brand new. Sorry, I wanted to bring it up a little closer. I don't know what that says. I think it's supposed to be my name, but um, Bose Companion 2 uh, Speaker Series 3. So I'm going to show you guys that Soul Comp as well. All right, guys. So I brought it up here. So these are the Bose Companion 2 Series 3. You have 150, 150. Then you also have 120 plus shipping. Uh, 120 plus shipping. 150, 150. That's on a bid. 140. So let's say conservatively a minimum 120 bucks plus shipping. Um, we might even be able to push that to like 130 plus shipping. Uh, but here we go. We got four Sony Walkmans. Um, now, this one is the lower one, which... It was weird this one was the lower one but it was priced the most not sure about that but uh this sony walkman model number d dash ej721 um if it does work you might gotta test them all if it does work you're probably looking about 15 to 20 dollars plus shipping on that that's a lower end one the rest of these three are ten dollars a piece um is what we spent um we have one that says de ej 011 so d dash ej 011 um i don't remember the soul comp on that one but you guys will see it and then we have two of the same here which makes it easier we have d dash nf 340 um these are going for about uh 40 dollars uh, plus shipping or 50 dollars free shipping so i would say about 40 dollars plus shipping on those okay now <laughs> i'm telling you guys this is this is pretty insane um I can't show you guys a soul comp of Oppo BDP-93. If you So keep in mind, I'm not gonna act like I'm an expert with this. I've never heard of this brand, Oppo. O-P-P-O. If you guys ever see it, no matter what it is, if it's priced reasonably, look it up, at least in it, but pick it up, <laughs> okay? this All four of these, or five of these, all have over 100% sell-through rate, and I'm talking about hundreds of dollars. 
absolutely insane. This one, I'm not too sure what it's going to go for. BDP-93, from whenever we looked it up um, in, the, in the garage, this was the only one we looked up. Um, we paid 90 bucks for it. And the model underneath this sold for $700 plus shipping. This one's a little bit better. So maybe 800 to 1000 850 to 1000 on this one, which I think is going to be pretty insane. One thing I do, want to, I do want to mention that three of them come with remotes. So whenever we test them out, we'll double check all this. Make sure that the correct remotes go with the correct uh, Blu-ray player. Um, but I'm going to turn this around so I can get the model numbers. All right, we're going to start off here with the top one. We got BDP-103-D. Oh, I'm sorry. BDP-103-D. Um, again, I'm not sure what the... Uh, the sole comps on that one is but i'll tell you right now these things are going for hundreds of dollars you guys um by the way we spent uh 90 dollars on the bottom two and then the top three we spent 110 um so still a plenty of room for uh some profit the second one is bdp-80 um and they all come with the power cords except for or no i guess they'll yeah all of them come with the power cords except for one of them i believe maybe two but that's okay we can always order those pretty cheap stuff um the next model number is going to be bdp-95 and this one's a bigger a bigger version of the the top two and then this one the last one is bdp-83 so um that is pretty pretty cool um of some of the stuff that you just would not think about and i'll explain why i picked them all up there's a story behind this i went inside because i guess the, there's a dude that was checking out and there's a dude who needed a blu-ray player and asked was it for sale and the lady said that it was being held for me and uh, so he went out back into the electronic room and found one for himself he wasn't a reseller found it for himself and he's like dude, you know there's like three more in there right and i was like um okay so we decided to uh go get it and uh, or go go back to the electronic room and sure enough there was about uh four different um uh, extra models in there plus the box one so it was pretty insane to pick up all five of them you guys pretty insane 862 dollars is what we spent in total you guys will see how much we are going to make and how much we are going to um how much we spend how much we're going to make and all that good stuff after everything all right you guys wow what an estate sale i told you guys we spent a lot of money three hour drive and we walked away with some good good money i would say that in this particular environment you definitely have to be experienced numerous reasonings why because you have no service so you kind of have to go on a lot of instincts um, a lot of experience past selling those said items you know just tons and tons of things that come into play when you're in this type of environment high end estate so you got to know what you're looking for because if you don't you're going to be costing yourself some good good money so with that being said we spent a total of 862 dollars which is a lot for an estate sale. matter of fact i think that is the most i've ever spent on a or at an estate sale um however we walked away with two thousand six hundred and eighty two dollars worth of merchandise and it's crazy because it's crazy because this video was done about a month ago so within that month time frame we actually sold one thousand six hundred and seven dollars and fifty cents worth of merchandise which actually puts us in the green by seven hundred and forty five dollars and we still have one thousand seventy five dollars left to resell which means it's going to be pure pure profit that is a great way to go about it because we spent 862 so essentially we found three times the amount of what our money spent so you guys do the math there is definitely a great deal overall now i will say that there were some things i was gambling on and uh, there's some things that i wasn't gambling on but the oplo blu-ray players after i looked up the first one i just knew the rest of them were going to be good and then you got the bow stuff which is a kind of common thing and then um little things like the shimano fish scale that i got for two dollars that actually sold for 15 so it's a little name brands that i i understand as a reseller and i took a gamble on a few things but enough about that that's going to be the end of this video thank you guys so much for 5600 subscribers you guys are absolutely the best community i could ever ask for you guys keep me motivated and hopefully you guys did enjoy this estate sale i'm trying to mix it up with estate sales bin stores garage sales what sold videos and all that good stuff but um we have a lot of content coming your way so much love hit that subscribe button like comment share the video and we'll catch you guys next video your boy the georgia picker
Peace. I don't wanna wake up.